Jakoba, come closer. I will take very short few minutes and I want you to make the circle and take yourself like this, you know. Come on. Just very short one. Alamer. Open for Asmus and Tube. Listen to me. I will turn so you can see me. Just few words, a little bit to summarize the pre-season until now. We had first, we can say four and a half, five week, really, really good. It was like this, like coming up to the mountain. Why was like that? You remember we talk about it because the hunger was there, the passion was there. We were really, really exciting for every session. And then we bring that into the game, what we played. Last two weeks, it's a little bit flat line. Uh, I believe, and uh, this is something what uh, we already start talking with the group, that uh, the previous season and experience in these qualification games and some other games which could uh, give us even a better result in the end of the season can be the, that stone, what you said, uh, which we can use it during this season. So even on the training session we discuss every day, you do everything what we ask to do it, but it's flat. It's not the same hunger and the same passion like was in the before. Uh, we are one year mature uh, as a team, I believe, and uh, most of the players, like I said, who was never before in that, that place to fight for something big, to, to win the league or, or uh, in our case, you know, to fight for the promotion. They are one, more, one year more experienced and uh, I believe that everyone could feel it in the team that we were so close and it was everything in our hands. So I hope that that can be the, the, the starting point, you know. Uh, another thing what I'm always taking on all meetings is that uh, the support what we got during the last season and especially in these last games, you know, it's something what boys feel it. That can be a push this year and I believe that the people recognize that we are doing something right. So hoping that they will be, you know, the push from the start and uh, helping us to go through the good and the bad momentum which you have in every season. So, so I believe that that can be you know, the, the piece what we maybe didn't have it last year. And that's normal because after two months of training and a lot of loads and a lot of fatigue and uh, our spending and Visma, it's normal that you get a little bit heavy here. Uh, the season will be long. That's definitely, I believe, that the league will be even more tighter and uh, closer than, than the last year. Uh, many teams who maybe didn't have the really good season last year improved their squads. Always the teams who are getting the um, promotion from the Division 1 and coming uh, into the Super Ed and are always uh, doing well because they're bringing that winning streak and the mentality you know, from, the, from the previous year. So the league is tough and like we talked many times last year, Super Etan is the difference between the teams are like five to ten percentages and it's most of the time, you know, the game form, the day form, which decide are you winning or, or losing the game. But uh, until now, since we started in January, we we're working really hard and uh, I'm pleased how the, the group is responding and uh, all of us really want to, to make that step forward and this is something what, what I'm aiming for myself. So I want you really now to use this training camp so we really restart. And you can restart just like I told you when you took your hands and you lift each other up, like we start yesterday. You price every good action, every good pass, each other. You're competing for your place in the team. That's, everyone knows that in the football teams. But on the training, you should make each other better with the positive energy, and we talked about that last year. You give energy, you get energy back. And that's the only way, guys, because now we have four weeks. And to be here, believe me, for me, it's like I'm born again. Good weather, good pitches, good atmosphere in the team. So take it every single day. Help each other to reach the highest possible levels. So when we come home, we have two, three games left, and then we go for it from the fourth of of uh, April when we start the season. Keep it, keep it, keep it! <whistles> hey, para lite pause, Ita and so Kalvar, Kals boys, come on, you can go down, you can be together. Kalva, Kalva. Yeah, exactly, take a touch, easy road alone. Bravo, guys! 
Bravo, Matis, bravo, Runa, Roda, bravo, guys! Tupe, sista minute, come on, keep the quality, guys! Yes, fix it, fix it, fix it, Andre! A bit. Yes. Yeah, hold up. Bravo, Monsa! Jag hoppas att vi har lärt oss någonting av de kvalmatcherna och ser det som en nyttig erfarenhet. Vi blir lite mer mogna i vårt sätt att vara. Förra året tyckte jag vi hade, hade ganska många matcher där vi pendlade i nivå alldeles för mycket. Vi kunde ha en, en första halvlek som var alldeles för dålig. Och det har man inte riktigt råd med i 30 matcher i Superettan utan det gäller att ha en, ha en stabilitet även när man presterar lite, lite sämre, att man ändå har en, en grundstabilitet att, att luta sig tillbaka på. Så det hoppas jag väl att vi, vi har lärt oss någonting av från, från kvalmatcherna och även förra säsongen. De som har försvunnit var ju en del killar som har varit här länge. Drott och Pavic. Så att det, det försvinner ju en del, lite, lite kultur så där. Samtidigt så, så de killarna som kommer in har kommit in med bra energi. Eh, spelar som nummer 10. Eh, gillar att ha en eh, forward framför mig som jag gärna kan kombinera med. Eh, gillar att hota liksom, mellan, eh, mellan deras lagdelar och vara i fickorna som man eh, brukar säga. Eh, och eh, kan jobba hårt och vinna matcher. Eh, vi spelar på ett, eller en formation som eh, har en tidig tia roll liksom. Där är jag och eh, det är Jenny och jag framför allt liksom. men jag tror vi kan rotera så det finns ju konkurrens. Det är inget som är liksom givet att, att jag skulle lira eller att någon annan skulle lira. Eh, det märkte jag tidigt när jag kom att det var en, en stor trupp med många igen bra spelare och det, det är viktigt för att ta sig långt liksom. för att när det blir skador och sjukdomar och Ja, allt vad det blir så, så behöver man en bred trupp och det känns som att det är det här. Och jag tror min roll är ganska tydlig. Att ha tia-rollen, det är där jag trivs bäst. Så det var ju ett av liksom, argumenten för att komma hit också. För här, jag vill göra fler poäng i förra året. Fler mål framförallt och fler assist. Men allsvenskan är det absolut viktigaste, skulle jag säga. I mean, you know, when uh, uh, when you end uh, the season like we ended last year, and we was like one game or one uh, step from to to get something what what people really wanted for many, many, many years. Now it's like 12 years since uh, Oster was last last time in in Premier League, and of course, when you when you start like that, the the, the next season, you know, it's you can feel it. You know that everyone is exciting and everyone uh, is starting. You know, with a with a high expectation. People are talking that we have the tough schedule in the beginning. We are meeting like the strongest team on the paper, the favorites for the for the fighting to to get a promotion. But you need to play against all the teams at the end of the day. And uh, like I said, the the difference between the teams are very very small. Margins are very small. So the only thing what I'm wishing that we have the the, the squad healthy, without injuries when when everything starts. And uh, like I said, we have one healthy group. Which uh, have really good atmosphere. Uh, I'm very happy with the with the team, with the squad, how we are doing, how we are behaving, you know. And uh, and this is something what give me the the, the confidence that uh, we will do the good season this year.